Hey guys, Tracy Panace here with some exciting information regarding consigner drop-off. So as you know, we're always trying to look for ways to maximize our efficiency and minimize the amount of time that you spend at consigner drop-off. And so one of the ways that we are doing that this season is by moving to an electronic waiver. So I'm gonna show you how to access that through this video. So number one, it starts on our consigner details page of our website. So you can see here I am on the Western Main Line page of the JBF sale. You can get to all of our subsites by entering in the sale location name followed by .jbfsale.com. So Reading is reading.jbfsale.com, Lancaster is lancaster.jbfsale.com, our Warminster event is lowerbucks.jbfsale.com, and Oaks is westernmainline.jbfsale.com. So once you're there, that's half the battle. Um, so you wanna go down here to the consigner details, and you are going to click on that page and it'll take you to lots of information about participating as a seller at one of our events. So you just wanna kind of scroll down and then you will come to all of the information regarding consigner pickup and consigner drop-off. And so we're gonna focus on consigner drop-off and you will see that it explains the three steps to consigner drop-off. And step two talks about completion of the consigner waiver. And so I'm gonna click on that and it will take me to Eventbrite, which is the platform that we're using for the electronic waiver. So when you're on here, this is where you're going to register to drop off your items. And so basically the three steps are explained right here. So number one, we need for you to review and complete the consigner waiver prior to consigner drop off. So we need you to do this at home prior to your arrival. And you can do that on any device that's convenient for you. So you could do it on your phone, on your tablet, laptop, or desktop. It doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or an Android device, whatever you have, it's going to work. Second thing is upon completion of the form, it's gonna generate a QR code. And so you're gonna be prepared to show that QR code to one of our greeters when you arrive. You can either do that by printing a paper copy with the code on it, or you can simply save that to your phone and share your phone once you arrive. And then the third part of this is selecting a consigner drop-off window. This is something that's completely new because we want to improve the flow. And so on our first night, which is on Monday night in Reading and Oaks, and on Tuesday night in Lancaster and Lower Box, that's when we have the biggest influx of people. And so as a result of that, there's oftentimes a scarcity of resources. We don't have enough rolling racks. We don't have enough people to check you in in a timely fashion. You know, there's just only so much that we can handle at any given point in time. And so to create a better flow and to maximize the resources that we have available, you're going to choose whether or not you want to come between four and five, five and six, et cetera. And so it's not a real restrictive period of time. You have flexibility within that time frame, but we think that that's going to help us to get you in and out of the venue as quickly as possible. And that is our number one goal in this process. So once you do that um, and you've read through there, you're gonna go up here to register and then it'll take you to the registration form. We are not collecting any fees in advance, so that has not changed. Your consigner fees will be taken out of your check. And then the next screen, you're going to just verify your information, um, pay particular attention to your email address, because remember that's where your check is going to be sent. You can put in your phone number and your address, and then you will be putting in your consigner number. Make sure that's correct because that's super important too. And then you'll just click through um, all of the terms and conditions. So do take a little bit of time and scroll through each of these sections so that you know what you're agreeing to. We will be spending a little bit more time talking specifically about the changes that we've made to the clothing inspection process, but there are some details that are included here. So take a look at that. Um, 
if you are a power consigner. So power consigners are those moms and dads who bring 300 plus items. And so that process remains the same as it has in the past. You select a time for your drop off using Sign Up Genius. And so you can do that on the consigner details page of our website. You can also do it on that landing page for Eventbrite. And so there's hot links in both of those places to take you to a specific time for power sellers. If you are a perfect consigner, you get a jump on everybody on opening day of drop-off. And so you can start to select your drop-off window starting at 4 p.m. for the Oak sale. So the times vary by location, so be sure to check that. Um, but regardless of your status, everybody needs a drop-off window for the first night. So if you're a perfect consigner, but you're not planning to come until the time when all consigners are permitted to enter, you still need to select a drop-off window. If you are planning to come on the second day, no drop-off window is required. So you would just simply check that you're gonna come anytime between nine and 6 p.m. So whatever works for you, check that off continue reading about how we are going to handle the no thank you items and then the terms and conditions there's information about the half price sale if you're a team member and then consigner pickup and so once that all looks good you're going to hit register and it'll generate a confirmation and then you can view your tickets so once you view your tickets looks like this um, I'm going to print my tickets and again you don't have to physically print them you can show them on your phone and so this is the QR code that is generated and you can save that to your Apple wallet if you're using an Apple device so it's very simple it'll take you less than five minutes um, but we do really need your participation and cooperation in getting that done prior to your arrival at the venue. Should you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call, email, or text me, and I will see you at the sale.